What role would you say compassion plays when discussing a plant-based lifestyle? So our culture tells us stories, and these stories have influenced how we view animals. So we're taught to view some animals as pets and some animals as food. But from a biological standpoint, from a compassionate standpoint, we view all animals as equals. You know, we are a compassionate, empathetic society, and we don't want animals to feel pain. We don't want them to cause, we don't want to cause harm to animals. We don't want them to suffer. And yet in our culture, the stories that we're told causes immense amount of suffering and pain to animals. In fact, 10 billion land animals are slaughtered for food every year in the United States. 10 billion. That's 300 animals every second. Just like that. So our culture has basically hidden the realities of where our food is coming from. And so we become complacent to the animals that we're participating in their slaughter. But when people realize what's going on, when people see footage of the conditions that the animals are raised in, it should cause them to think twice. When we adopt a plant-based diet, we are making a statement. We're telling people that we don't want to participate in the cruelty and suffering of animals. And that's just the, the fact is that most people don't want to cause harm to an animal. They don't want animals to suffer, yet they just pay somebody else to do it for them. And if you think about the system that we've created, a lot of people say, why can't we create better systems? Why can't we create a more humane system of killing an animal? Again, no animal wants to die. Most people don't want to die either. And when we participate in this system, we participate in not only their death, but the death of our compassion, 